everybody what's going on just back here with another video so we got something here from pierre polyev who says trudeau's carbon tax sends our production and paychecks away to foreign countries common sense conservatives will axe the tax to bring home the production and powerful paychecks for workers i do have a little video here to show you but before we get into that please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button it really really helps grow this channel and also don't forget to leave your comments and whatever you're thinking whether it's opinions um ideas for other videos you want me to make whatever Whatever's on your mind, basically, let me know what you're thinking. I do really appreciate that as well. So let's get into this video here. This carbon tax is a complete nightmare. Not only does it drive up the obvious things, the gas, diesel you put in your car, the heat that, that, that uh, warms your home, but indirectly, anything that moves by truck or train becomes more expensive. It destroys roughly $30 billion of economic activity every single year. And it takes thousands of dollars off of the paychecks of the average family. A common sense conservative government will ax that tax to lower the cost, but also to bring home production to our country. Here in, 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 in uh, Hamilton, Stelco is worried about the cost that it will hit, it will face with this tax. $500 million in extra costs that our Chinese and American competitors don't have to pay. So let's get this straight. Trudeau's plan to save the environment is to quadruple the carbon tax on Stelco, driving the jobs out of our country, the company out of business, over to more polluting foreign jurisdictions in China, where they make steel, burning coal, burning coal to power their grid, the most polluting economy in the world, will then be making our steel and we'll be bringing it into our country, sending them our money while our workers go to work. I'm going to ax the tax, we're going to bring home that production and put the paychecks back in the pockets of our people because it's time that we put Canadians first for a change. And yeah, I mean... He's right. I mean, we're, Trudeau's always talking about how he cares so much about the economy, but yet you look at what China's doing, who, by the way, he admires so much, which he, he said that back in 2015. He hasn't corrected himself since. They are the worst in terms of climate. They, they emit more carbon emissions than anyone else by far because of the reasons Pierre Polyev mentioned. And that's who's going to get our steel next if we keep raising the taxes. If, steel, if Stelco leaves or shuts down, we still got to get our steel somewhere, which is also going to make it more expensive because now we have to import it instead of creating it here. Like, this is what I don't understand. There's so many people. There's still about 20% of people, in my opinion, who are going to vote for Justin Trudeau. Like, like, do you just like, is it a vote against Canada? Like, do you hate this country? Do you want to see it burn? Like, like, I don't understand. No, we're here to save the climate. Your guy isn't doing anything to save the climate. No plan just axing the tax right there is better for the environment. Because now, at least, these companies aren't going to leave. Not to mention, Pierre Polyev also wants to use the oil that we have here. We have an oil sands that's bigger than Switzerland, I believe, in Alberta right now. That would also make gas cheaper. And it would also be less polluting because now we don't have to send a giant boat overseas to bring our oil over for us. We can just use our own. It's cheaper and it's better for the environment. It's not perfect, but it's better than what Trudeau's doing right now. Like, it's just, I don't understand how people just like, oh yeah, we'll just get everything overseas and make nothing here. Like, what do you think? Like, that's pretty bad for your economy, don't you think? Or maybe these people just aren't thinking. I, I don't know. I, I don't understand. It's just, it's just so strange to me how anyone at this point could still like him, but these people are out there. So, um, and like Pierre Polyev said too, you know, the $30 billion of economy activity is just pissed away out the window. It's $30 billion a year that we can really use in this country for a lot of different things. Especially if you include paying off the national debt, which I would still like to hear Pierre Polyev talk about that a little bit more. Um, but obviously we can use it to buy homes, or to sorry, to build homes, which we desperately need. And we need to do this at a more rapid rate than probably ever. Because Trudeau's lack of growth, and he keeps lying, saying we're going to build millions of houses a year or hundreds of thousands of houses a year, and, and they're just not, not even close. Like maybe they'll get to like two hundred thousand, but they need like five, six, seven. They let in a million people last year. They need more than a couple hundred thousand houses, especially if you're going to do that every year. I mean, it's 
It's insane. I don't even know if they're going to actually build 200,000 houses this year or not by the time everything's said and done. So, you know, and then you have, you know, a thousand or thousands of dollars lost per family per year because of these taxes, right? Taxes go up. Your paycheck is now, is now a little bit less powerful. And even if it's just by 50 bucks, that's still a hundred dollars a month for most people that you can at least use to put in your savings account. But now people can't even add to their savings account. And that's like, if you're in a decent situation, there's a lot of people who are like, man, another hundred dollars. Rent just went up, groceries are up, gas is up, and now my paycheck is going to be a hundred dollars less a month. Like it's they're just people are just getting stretched really thin here, and they're leaving the Liberal Party in droves. And there's a lot of liberal people, by the way, who are saying that if Trudeau is in still in the uh, in the you know the head seat of the party and still the prime minister without resigning, by the time the next election comes around, they're not going to vote. If Trudeau's in, they're staying home. Many people have said this. I've heard it online people saying it all over the place like yeah i'm liberal but i hate trudeau so honestly it's actually probably better if trudeau stays in instead of resigning i think that there's just going to be so much pressure especially in the in the early stages of 2025 that he will resign but i don't know he's he's also got this gigantic ego people say donald trump has an ego which is absolutely true so does justin trudeau Right. He, any other person who has any level of common sense would be like, okay, I'm done. I can't do this. I'm too far behind. I've made way too many mistakes. I'm going to step, step down. Someone can inherit my mess and fix it and hopefully restore the liberal, uh, the liberal party uh, reputation in the next year or so. That'd be a, basically impossible to do. The conservatives are still going to win a majority. But if Justin Trudeau stays in, I mean, you could see, I think you could honestly see upwards of 200 sorry, 250 seats by the time the next election comes around. I think that, I mean, with, with the interest rates going up and the carbon tax going up, people are already stretched thin and you're stretching them even more. And people are going to get pissed off. I think even Jugmeet Singh, once he gets his pension, of course, will eventually call um, a vote of non-confidence. And then we can have an election, hopefully, maybe in the spring of 2025 instead of the fall of 2025. Uh, We'll see. But again, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I'm really curious to uh, read your opinions on this kind of stuff. Uh, Thank you so much again for watching and I'll be back shortly with a new video.